How many times have you heard the term software vulnerability and wondered what it really means? Or perhaps you've experienced the real-world implications of these vulnerabilities yourself. The term might sound abstract, but it's a pressing reality in our digital world. One of the most infamous examples is the Log4 shell bug that was unearthed in November of 2021. This was no ordinary bug. It was found in the widely used open source program Log4j, which is a logging library used by programmers to record and analyze a program's internal processes. The bug was so severe that it allowed a hacker to inject their own code into an affected program, essentially hijacking the machine running it. The scale of this vulnerability was staggering. Log4j was embedded in millions of applications worldwide, and the Log4 shell bug put these applications and the companies that use them at risk. Major corporations, some of them multi-billion dollar enterprises, were in the line of fire. The threat was so severe that it prompted a full-blown panic in corporate America and even spooked the highest levels of the federal government. A few weeks post the discovery, a summit was held at the White House on open source security. Top cybersecurity advisor to President Joe Biden, Anne Neuberger, invited executives from tech giants like Microsoft, Meta, Google, Amazon and IBM. The goal wasn't just to remedy the Log4 shell vulnerability, but to devise a strategy to prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. This meeting sparked a chain reaction. The Linux Foundation started to develop a mobilization plan to better secure the free and open source software, FOSS, ecosystem. On the other hand, the federal government began working on its own strategies to regulate the tech industry more stringently. President Biden's cybersecurity plan, published last year, prioritized new safeguards to prevent the emergence of such destructive bugs. However, as the Log4 shell incident showed, the FOSS environment is still vulnerable to bugs that can have catastrophic, system-wide implications for the internet. Understanding these risks in FOSS is not easy, as it requires diving deep into the unique ecosystem that produces a significant portion of the world's software. Now, it's important to clarify a common misconception closed source or proprietary software isn't necessarily more secure. Security experts and FOSS proponents argue that the opposite is often true. Despite being a closed source corporate giant, Microsoft has had its product base hacked numerous times, sometimes with devastating consequences. To summarize, the Log4 shell incident was a wake-up call for the tech industry. It highlighted the vulnerabilities in widely used open source software and spurred action to prevent similar incidents. Despite these efforts, the FOSS ecosystem remains at risk and understanding these risks is crucial. Lastly, it's crucial to remember that closed source software is not inherently more secure than open source software. The focus should be on fostering a culture of security and adopting proactive measures to manage these risks.